Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Dan Rosenberg with Hagerman & Company. I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, piping and plumbing and Autodesk Revit uh, 2017. And um, we don't, uh, I, it's been a while since I've actually done uh, piping uh, troubleshooting videos, so I uh, feel like you guys have been neglected for a little bit, so today is your lucky day. Uh, we had a customer bring something to my attention and uh, <clears throat> I needed to work through the solution for uh, this customer and had a lot of help from David B with Autodesk so David if you're watching this video thanks for all your help on that and uh, basically this is this is what happened so our customer was uh, running some pipe here and I'm just gonna use the standard PVC uh, pipe that comes with the software I've started uh, project from the default uh, plumbing uh, template just so you can follow along at home or at the office so I'm just gonna run a piece of pipe here and you can see that it adds this uh, fitting here well our customer wanted to use a long radius so naturally uh, they went in and Went to insert load family. There we are. And went to the Imperial Library, found proper fitting. In this case, we've got a long sweep for this long radius. Open it up. And what they did next, and this makes perfect sense, perfectly logical, uh, they went to the pipe routing preferences and saw that you could add different elbows. So naturally add an elbow here, put the long sweep in, and click OK. Problem is, there's only an option here for sizing. You can't base this on the angle. So if I want to draw a pipe at maybe 90 degrees and always get the uh, short radius, I wouldn't use this family. But if I do a run a pipe at a 45, I want to use this one, the long sweep with the long radius. But the problem is, um, Revit is always going to use this first one listed. So I could switch back and forth, but uh, that really wouldn't make much sense. There's actually a nice, easy solution for this. Um, what you can do is cancel out of this. Forget about using the long sweep radius that we loaded in. We can actually modify this one through the lookup table to get the desired results. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is select this fitting here, edit the family, and I recommend doing a save as anytime we're uh, messing with out of the box content. So I'll go ahead and we'll just for today we'll just call this our test file and I don't really want a bunch of backups so I'll click save so if you go into your family types you can see everything is very parametized here and it's a lot of these parameters are referencing a lookup table so if we click on this button down here manage lookup tables and of course I brought America's favorite plumbing consultant with me to help us out. So if you click on this button we've got a Excel CSV file we can export that that'll be it's probably where the family is located in your library but for today I'm gonna save a copy of it on my desktop now I'm not gonna change the name of it here because I want to re-import it and overwrite what I've done. So if I just save this on the desktop, now I can go back.
back to my desktop, open it up, and the parameter that we're looking for is this CTSB length. So what I can do is find for, let's say for every 45, every 45 degree angle in here, I want to use a long radius so I can modify these numbers right here. So let's say, just for uh, clarification or for, you know, obviousness to show this is working, let's change this to like 20 inches. For any any time I get it at a 45, we're going to use 20 inches. So let me show you. So let's save this. Say yes. And then we're going to click import and re-import that and overwrite what we've got. Say OK. So you can see the, the uh, parameter that we changed, this CTSB, this controls the center to socket bottom uh, parameter here. So if I click OK, load this into my project, Now, if I go to my routing preferences, and switch this to our test here, let's create similar. So I'm going to draw one at a 90, and we've got our standard short radius. Now if I draw one at a 45, we should get our long radius. And there you have it. Uh, one other tip that was brought up to us by our customer was uh, for vent pipe, if you, or for sanitary, if you still want to use a short radius, you could just duplicate the family type and have two separate family types in there. So, uh, if you run, if you did run across this problem in the past, and uh, you weren't sure how to go about that, and you were kind of scared about modifying the lookup tables, hopefully this tutorial would have uh, helped well for you. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'll edit that out in post production. So, uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, video worked out well for you, and. Uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.